Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a succulent topped pumpkin. This is most popular at this time of year um, and it's super simple and easy. You can see behind me uh, here at the Dragonfly Shops we have our succulent pumpkin station set up. Come in anytime we're open and create your own. Everything is glued on top. Um, at the shop we charge only $15 to make a pumpkin this size including all the succulents on top. It's just $10 for a little sugar pumpkin, and we have these super cool cement pumpkins that are 20, and they will last year after year after year. Um, this is also something that we have added on to our little pumpkins. Um, we have a room full of miniatures to choose from. You can add any little bits and pieces on as well. But I wanna show you how simple it is to create this pumpkin. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your glue and you're gonna put a layer of glue around the top. You can use either craft glue like this or you can use um, hot glue gun. I actually prefer a hot glue gun because I don't have a lot of patience sometimes and I don't have to sit and wait for the glue to get tacky. Um, but this works well when you have um, a lot of kids uh, and so you don't burn yourself on the hot glue. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to get this glue tacky. I want it to tack up so that I can dip a succulent into it and put it in my moss. Once I get my moss on top of the pumpkin, what will happen is those succulents will root into the moss and they will live they will actually outlive the pumpkin. One of the reasons that gluing succulents on top of a pumpkin has become so popular is because once the pumpkins um, are old, because they will eventually start to rot, you can gently take the succulents off of the top of the pumpkin and plant them. Likewise, the succulents will continue to grow, so you can just snip them off and repot them as well. Okay, so I've got a good base of moss on my pumpkin and so now I typically start in the center or start with the tallest bits of succulents in the center so I'm gonna make a little room I'm gonna dip my succulent in and let that set right there and I'm just gonna kind of build around that sometimes you might have focal pieces that you want to incorporate in but it's important to just kind of be patient and kind of hold them there this is one of my favorite succulents. Looks like a little rosette. So I'm gonna put that right in the front of my pumpkin. I'll show you how that's gonna look. And I love this pop of color here. These long pieces are really kind of cool to hang down the side of a pumpkin. So I'm gonna put those in as well. And I have a really great variety of succulents in front of me that I'm just playing around with. We're out front in the shop and that's why you can hear the traffic going by. Okay, so I'm just kind of placing them in as I go along. I'm going to put this one here. But you'll be surprised, if the, for those of you who haven't done this yet, you'll be surprised how fast this comes together. And what a great gift this makes. This size in particular is super cool to have as a place setting on your holiday table for those of you who are having a holiday table. I'm going to put this one over here. See that's what that's looking like from that side. And it's fun to just have it in all directions. Then I'm going to fill in the back. Um, I typically put just a small amount of moss on top of the succulent to begin with because I can always tuck more in as we go along. I just want to turn it around and make sure I'm not missing anything. And I actually think I'm happy with this. I'm going to tuck this little piece in here. This size pumpkin is beautiful to get a vignette of succulents on. You've also seen the really large Cinderella pumpkins. Anything with a flat top works really well. I have done the traditional looking pumpkins and sometimes that round top is a little challenging to put something on. There you go. I'm going to tuck this in and now you can see I'm going to keep it my pumpkin all the way around. 
I think I'm done. Sometimes it's actually um, hard to stop putting succulents on. And if I wanted to, I can tuck a little bit of moss. I have lots of different kinds of moss here. We have this traditional green moss. Um, I, I like this the best. I'm going to um, tuck this in. Let me get a little stick. And I'm just going to tuck this in here. Okay. And I'm just going to hold it in place. Ta-da! We're done! That's it. Come on by the shop anytime. I'd love to see you. We do Girl Scout groups. It's family fun. We do this on the road. We take this mobily um, and we put kids together. See you around.